Hi guys, and I'm back with this uh, review of um, this 90s, um, I think it's a free MC. Yeah, um, a little bit of history on the the um, loco. Well, the name of the loco anyway. It's uh, Prince of Palantine, um, which is also a king, but this one is, is based on a horse. Um, and it says here, Prince of Palatine was, um, from 1908 to 1924, it was a British thoroughbred racing horse. It was a stallion. He was named for the county of Palatine of Lancashire, Lancaster, sorry. And, um, where, near where his breeder, William Hall Walker, was raised. Um, out of its many, uh, major wins it won the ascot gold cup twice in um 1912 and 1913 um, so yeah a little bit more history i do apologize about history i keep getting carried away so yeah um and uh, so yeah let's have a look at this loco after that's been done yeah it's r uh 146 it's br um 462 locomotive and it is a free uh piece of power time um So yeah, we're going to open um, box is a little bit battered. Uh, but what? We have a block of a block of ice. I know it's worrying. Um, yeah, we got a block of ice. Um, really early version. Really, really early version. Um, so it won't be did come with the concept of a block of ice. Just didn't carry it on. So yeah, we have the general information, how to couple it, how to, um, you know, if you've got penta pentagrass or not, you know, we shouldn't have any, you know, how to do the motor, you know, all the usual stuff. Uh, so I'm doing the block of ice. It's quite simple. Yeah, I think the sun's got to fit. Um, so that's the block of ice. And uh, what's up with the tender? It's a tender loco. Uh, this is a Great Northern tender. Uh, no sprung no sprung buffers. Uh, wheels are pretty clean, sort of maybe. Um, yes, if you see my the uh, minute uh, my Dwight D Eisenhower one, that's what I'm on about. It's you know, it's like that permanently. But this one, it's I prefer it, but you know, Hornby gone the same way as Batman. So yeah, um, coal's a bit chunky. Um, but saying that. Nice delivery, nice applied uh, early crest there, I believe. Uh, nice white, white is that white and black lining around around the tender? Yeah, it's, it's got some steps. Uh, it's pretty nice, it is a nice. Um, these locos do run pretty smooth. Uh, so, move on to a loco. Um, separate applied handrail. Uh, oh, the second one's moulded. Uh, got glazing the cabs. Uh, it's got this root availability, which is nine. Prince of Palatine there. Who I also believe is the was the king of Monaco, I'm not sure. Uh, safety valves, there's no whistle, we've got safety valves anyway. So yeah, and a number on the front. Uh, lovely experimental blue livery. And so is Tender Loco Tender Loco. So yeah, that's the um, thing. Oh yeah, no cab detail. All right, I'll let the history roll and get on with it. Alan Yar Gridley classes a one and a freeze. The L London and North East Railway Alan Yar Gridley classes a one and a freeze were rep uh, represented two distinct. Stages in the history of a British 462 Pacific steam locomotive designed by Nigel Gresley. They were designed for main line passenger services by the Great Northern first and then later Alan ER. The names of the locomotives come from various sources first, Great Northern. 
was named after the parent company. Others were given the names of high-ranking railway officials, but most of the names were were named after famous racehorses. One was named after the company's most famous long-distance passenger service, Flying Scotsman. Flying Scotsman is the sole survivor of the class in preservation. In fiction, in the railway series, children's books by Reverend W. Audrey, the character Gordon the Big Engine is loosely based on A1. According to the Reverend Audrey, in the Island of Sodor, its people, history uh, and railways, Gordon was a hush-hush experiment prototype for the Gredley Pacifics, for the Great Northern, the so-called A.O. Built in 1922, Gordon was sold to the Fat Controller in 1923, once the tests, tests were complete, Following problems with the conjunction valves gears, Gordon was then rebuilt in 1939 on a two-cylinder chassis designed by the Fat Controller, which explains why Gordon did not look exactly like an A1 in the box. Some information on the classes. Steam power... Uh, Power type steam designer Nigel Gresley, builders Doncaster Works 59, North British Locomotive Company 20, built date 1922 to 1935, uh, total pro produce A1s was 30, uh, 52, A3s 51, um, rebuilt plus 27 new. The wheel configuration is a 462. And they are standard gauge, um, fuel type is coal, um, fuel capacity is 8 long tons, cylinders, 3, valve gear, outside Wilshire, inside gradually conjuncted, um, valve type was piston, maximum speed, at 108 miles an hour operated under the um, Great Northern London and North East Railway and British Railways power type BR is 7P6F route availability is 9 withdrawn between 1959 and 1966 preserved 1 4472 Flying Scotsman and the rest were scrapped. Here is some information on the locomotive I just looked at. The BR number is 60052. The second grouping number is Allen R52. The first grouping number is Allen 2551. The name is Prince of Palantine. The class is a free designer is Gresley. The wheel configuration is a 462 and it was built on the 29th of the 11th, 1924 at Doncaster Works. Um, the two shed codes of um, 1948 is 35A New England. The last shed code is 64A St. Margaret's. It was withdrawn on the 17th of the 1st, 1966 um, at Long Loan. It was cut up on the 20th of the 6th, 1966. Note, it was the last A3 in service. It was rebuilt from an A1 on the 8th of August, 1941. So yeah guys, that's her on the tracks, um, Prince of Palantine, still a her, I don't know why, um, the blue is just lovely, um, so what I'll do is, have the usual slow speed running, and uh, I'll find a friend for to play with, and let's see what I'll come up with, hope you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, 
share and subscribe and comment. Um, really helps me. Um, thanks a lot for the support. Um, God bless. Take care. Bye.